boss George Graham, out of the game for 19 months, has been given a two and a half year contract. Ian Bolton reports. George. He's back in football and he says he's delighted to be back at the highest level. Having been in the Premiership, it's where he wanted to return. His appointment, though, has to be this week's worst kept secret in the game. It's my pleasure to introduce to you our new manager for Leeds United, Mr George Graham. I had a few uh, other offers uh, for some clubs, but uh, I didn't think it was right for a number of reasons. Uh, when I left Arsenal, I left uh, you know a big club, uh, being uh, very successful, uh, winning trophies, and I wanted to sort of join a club that I thought was big enough to produce more trophies in the future. No, I can't sort of guarantee I'm going to win them, but uh, what I would like is I would like the opportunity to join a club that is big enough that if we get it right, the trophies uh, should should come along. A winner at Arsenal, the European Cup Winners' Cup was among two championships, the FA Cup and two League Cups. But he says his new club has the potential. Yeah, certainly. I mean, uh, there's been proved in the past. I mean, I remember coming here when uh, when, when Don Revy had the famous team and uh, one of the best teams I've seen. And they were massive then. And there's no reason why, you know, being a one-city club in the catchment area, I mean, they can be up there if we get it right and we get it successful on the pitch. They can be up there with Manchester United's Newcastle's and the Arsenal's. If it happens immediately, it'll be a big bonus. But you've got to give this man time to get in. He's been out of the game for over 12 months. He's got to settle in. At least when you do get a new manager, you do have a period where you can, you can relax a little. While he comes into a job, there's nobody immediately going to be baying for his blood. They haven't seen what he can do yet. Nobody's seen yet. Let's see what he can do. Graham, who left Highbury under a cloud and subsequently completed a 12-month ban, has been linked with the Leeds job for some time. The club is owned by Caspian, and one of their backers, the former QPR chairman Richard Thompson, lives in the same North London apartment block as Graham. But the new Leeds boss denies the deal was done months ago. And the first I heard about it was on Sunday. Obviously, there's been a lot of speculation in the newspapers over the last few weeks, but there's been speculation about uh, quite a few clubs connected uh, with not only me, but other uh, unemployed managers. So I can assure you that uh, the first I heard about it was on Sunday. He may have been out of the game, but he's anxious to prove he's lost none of his touch and not just as a manager. He has money to spend, but he wants to bring in new ideas rather than new blood. I've never needed a big checkbook in the past, but obviously time's changing. Uh, what I would like to, to get right away is uh, a, a good basis, you know, a good basis uh, so that uh, if we need a big signing player, we'll go and get them. But I think just be running to the checkbook in the first few weeks, uh, I don't think that's the answer. Both George Graham and Leeds say what's past is past. And as far as both are concerned, he's starting his new job at Elland Road with something his Arsenal side were renowned for, a clean sheet. Ian Bolton, Sky Sports Centre.